Governor of Niger State, Abubakar Musa Bello, is now the interim chairman of the ruling All Progressives Congress, APC. He is to take over the running of the party as a sole administrator, based on reports that President Muhammad Buhari has ordered the sack of the main Malabuni-led Ketika Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee. The Niger governor has gone into a meeting with members of the APC Ketika Committee, after which he will meet with party state's chairman. Let's now cross live to Abuja, where our rice correspondent India Mogu is standing by at the All Progressives Congress APC Secretariat to fill us in on the events there. Thanks for joining us on Newsday. Bring us up to speed. What's happening where you are? Yeah, like we informed in the morning, uh, we have uh, a police curtain at the beginning of the street the street where the AP quarters is located here in Blantyre Street, Abuja. At about 12 noon, the uh, Niger State Governor Sani Bello, who is currently the uh, chair, the one of the Kataka uh, Committee, uh, because like we told you earlier, Buni Chairman. Committee upstairs, and then in some minutes now, or maybe some minutes, he'll be holding a meeting with the, the chairman who are in the hall where I'm presently sitting. That is the situation as it is now. The police are still out there. They came here by seven in the morning and are still at both ends of the street. Tony Bello is here, the Niger State Governor, and he has held a meeting with the Caretaker Extraordinary Committee. All right, in the one find out from you, talk to Rose. How are party members receiving this particular news or this swift I am power change? I'm to hear you. The noise here is. Um, we're quite, talking about uh, the power change. Um, how are party it's members? Quite noisy in here. If you can listen to me, uh, how are party members receiving this particular swift move ahead of the APC convention? Could you take that again? I want to hear from you concerning the party members in the APC. How are they receiving this news and how have they been receiving this news concerning this move? Oh well, uh, the hall is full. Uh, we can't tell you right away what it is like because we haven't got to speak to them but the hall is full and everybody is waiting for Sunny Bello. Uh, just to tell you that, just to add that, that they are secretary of the, of the convention, the uh, Celtica committee was saying earlier that the removal of Booney, the chairman, was fake news. But apparently, uh, and, and there was a rumor that the place was going to be locked up. But as, as it stands now, Sani Bello, the Niger State Governor, is here. He has held a meeting. Uh, the hall is full. The hall is full. And the meeting is, we're just waiting for, for him to get into the hall and hold a meeting with the chairman, the state chairman. This is certainly um, some unexpected drama that is going on today. Do you anticipate... Could you, could you speak up a little bit more? Sure. Do you anticipate that the schedule will continue for the 26th being the day that is marked for the Congress? Sorry, I have to take that again. I can't hear you clearly. The 26th is the date. Do you think that date will stand? I'm really struggling to hear you because there's so much noise in here. I'm really, right, really struggling to hear you. With, um, yes, I talked to our eyes news analyst, Emmanuel Finney. We've actually just um, heard from India Mugu there, and he's been speaking about um, the oh, change oh, at Governor Well, Bello, from certainly the way events are looking happen. now, um, with a sunny bellow on the saddle. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, I had your question. With the, way with the way events are now, with sunny bellow on the saddle, uh, the date is still sacrosanct. Or, or less otherwise, but it, def it should hold the way things are right now, but unless otherwise. All right, thank you so much for uh, filling us in on exactly what's going on. Right now.